Hello everyone, I am Professor Amit Vyas, Computer IT Department from Dr. Subhas Technical Campus. We have discussed about the previous lecture. We can show what is the modulation, what is the amplitude, frequency, phase. Now we have discussed about what is the analog data and analog signal. We can also discuss different modulation techniques is involve the operation on one and more parameters. The modulation is effected in the amplitude, frequency and phase. We can also discuss the different mapping according techniques which are available. Previous lecture we have discussed digital data and analog signal. So now we are discuss about today analog data and analog signal. Also we discuss about the previous lecture digital to analog conservation. We can discuss amplitude shift key, frequency shift key and phase shift key. So what is the amplitude, frequency and phase which is dependent or which is the modulation are available in the digital to analog. So this is the basic techniques we have discussed for the modulation. Now we have discussed analog data and analog signal. So we can say that this is the different techniques. Now we can start the conservation of the analog data and analog signal. So we can show what is the modulation and we can refer. Modulation is the process of variety. One or more parameter of carry the signal in accordance with the instance value of message signal. The message signal is a signal which is being transmitted for communication and carry the signal is a high frequency signal which have no data but we can use for the long transmission. So what is the message signal? The message signal is a one communication signal which have no data signal. In signal have no data but we can use the high frequency range. How can you signal is transmitted for the long distance? So this is the use of the message signal. So now this is the modulation. Now we can show what is the analog data and analog signal. Modulation is a combined input signal and carry the frequency produce the signal. All bandwidth is usually carry for the frequency. So modulation is a combine of signal and frequency. So modulation is dependent upon frequency and signal. For example, voice signal are transmitted over the telephonic line either in the original spectrum. Types of modulation. First is amplitude modulation. It is denoted by AM. And second is angle modulation. So in angle modulation is divided by frequency modulation and phase modulation. It is denoted by FM and PM. So this is the main modulation techniques which is used for the analog data and analog signal. So we have discussed about what is the modulation. Previous lecture we have discussed about what is the shifting key for the amplitude frequency and phase. We have also discussed about what is the amplitude, frequency and phase. Now this is the one message for the we can transmit the signal for the long distance but no data we can send. Now we can show the types of modulation. So we can start first is amplitude modulation. A continuous wave is good to the continuous without any interval and baseband message signal which is contain the information. 
this wave has can be modulated. So what is the amplitude modulation? The continuous wave will be go to the any signal, no any interval or no any break for any signal or signal have a no loss. So this is called the amplitude modulation. According to definition, the amplitude of the carrier signal varies in accordance with the instance amplitude of the modulation signal. So this is the amplitude modulation. So this is the wave for the modulation. This is the input modulation wave. You can show here. And this is the carrier wave for the any signal, the data or any signal we can transmit it. If the modulated result, we can discuss and show about here the modulate result. So this is the amplitude modulate key for the modulation. Means the amplitude of the carrier signal is contained. No information varies as per the amplitude of the signal is contained the information each instance. We can show about this figure. This is the modulation wave we can show about. We can show the modulate wave which is the message we can transmit it for the signal. We can show that this is the modulation wave. Now, if the data is transmitted for the carrier wave, also we can find the result of the modulation for any frequency. The next one is the carrier wave, which is the high frequency signal and contain no information while at least at last resultants of the modulate wave. So this is the amplitude modulation. We can transmit it only for signal but not a data. So this is the amplitude modulation. Now second we have discussed the angle modulation. Angle modulation is a divided into frequency modulation and phase modulation. So first of all we have discussed about frequency modulation. So what is the frequency modulation? In amplitude modulation, the amplitude of the carrier signal is various. With the frequency modulation, the frequency of carrier signal is various in according to the instance amplitude of modulate signal. So what is the difference between amplitude and frequency? The frequency of carrier signal is according to the instance of amplitude modulate signal. So it is depend upon the frequency. Here the frequency modulation, the amplitude and the phase is carry the signal remaining constant. This can be better understood by observing the following figure. We can show that this is the input wave, this is the carrier wave and this is the frequency result you can show about. The frequency of modulation wave is increasing when the amplitude of the modulation or message signal is increasing. So what is the main frequency modulation is used? Frequency is used the modulate wave is increasing when the amplitude and modulation message is increasing. If the message is increasing that time you can show there the signal you can change. So this is the frequency modulation. So this is the wave of the modulation. This is the carrier wave. No data transmitted. If the modulate result, it means the signal, we can data, we can transmit it. Here the wave we can change is based on the message. So what is the frequency modulation? Frequency of modulation is increasing. And the amplitude of the modulation or message signal is increasing. If the message signal is increasing, that time modulation is changed according to the frequency modulation. 
we can show that here amplitude in amplitude the signal is modulate the carrier is as it is if the modulate only for the data you can transmit it but no transmitted in the analog signal for the data communication so we can show this is the modulation result so now we can show what is the frequency used frequency modulation is depend upon the signal carrier if the carrier signal is high then frequency is high and amplitude also be depend upon the frequency so now we are discuss about the next similarly the frequency of modulate wave is decreasing when the amplitude of the modulation signal is decreasing so frequency is depend upon the amplitude if the amplitude is high then frequency is high if the amplitude is low then frequency is low so the frequency modulate is decreasing when the amplitude modulation is decreasing so if the signal is carrier is decrease then frequency carrier also be decrease the frequency of modulate wave is remaining constant and it is equal to the frequency of the carrier signal when the amplitude of the modulation signal is zero we can note that the frequency of modulation wave remaining constant and equal to to the frequency carrier signal when the amplitude of the modulation signal is zero if the amplitude modulation is zero then frequency is constant so this is the importance if the frequency modulation is constant at time amplitude modulation signal is zero so this is the importance for the amplitude and frequency modulation so we can show about the angle modulation in angle we can two types frequency and phase we can discuss about the frequency modulation now we can discuss about phase modulation in the frequency modulation the frequency of the carrier wave when wave is dependence where the phase modulation the phase of the carrier signals varies according to the instance of amplitude of the modulation signal in frequency modulation is depend upon the frequency for the amplitude in the phase modulation is depend upon the phase for the modulation so in the phase modulation the amplitude and frequency of the carrier signal remaining constant we can discuss about what is the frequency modulation in frequency modulation we can show that here frequency modulation the wave is increasing in amplitude so amplitude is increase the frequency is increase but here we can say that here in the phase modulation the amplitude and frequency is signal is constant that time the phase we can increase it. this is the better understood is observing the figure you can show that this is the modulation you can show that here modulation wave here the positive 1 and 0 1 1 0 you can show that the phase of the modulate wave is go to the infinite point where the phase shift wave can be take place so this is the input this is the output zero this is the one one zero one and zero so this is the carrier and this is the output of the modulation result you can show then this is the modulation signal if you change it is the decrease that time the varieties you can denote it if the modulation is increase then we have no change if the decrease then we can change the phase so you can constant that the amplitude and frequency carrier signal remaining constant but the phase you can differentiate also you can change if the frequency we can increase here we can show that here this is the signal you can change so this is the phase modulation 
the instance amplitude of the modulating signal is changed the phase of the carrier signal when the amplitude is positive the phase he can change one direction and if the amplitude is negative the phase is change in opposite direction so we can show that here the amplitude is positive we can show that this is the positive value the amplitude is negative so this is the negative so we can discuss and we can observe that this is the modulation if the modulation signal for amplitude signal is negative we can change the modulation result also so we can observe that the modulation is positive when the amplitude is positive in the modulation so when the amplitude is positive the phase change is one direction and if the amplitude is negative the phase change in opposite direction so this is the basic difference from the modulation techniques so now we are discuss about the phase modulation so we can discuss today's lecture we can discuss what is the analog data and analog signal previous lecture we had discuss about the amplitude shifting key and all the shifting key then uh, what is the uh, modulation today lecture we had discuss about analog data and analog signal first of all we had discuss amplitude modulation so what is the amplitude modulation the amplitude modulation go to the without any interval in the base on the message signal you can pass the some of the signal but we can travel the signal only so how can you long you can travel the signal we can check that the amplitude modulation so the amplitude carrier signal is contain the no information where it is for the amplitude of the signal containing the information of the each instant but we can check that how can you long or distance transmit the data sorry transmit the signal no information is available for the signal now we can show the angle modulation in angle modulation we are discuss frequency modulation and phase modulus the frequency we can show it is depend upon the amplitude so what is if the frequency is increasing the amplitude is also be increasing or message signal is increase it means the frequency is high the message signal is high the frequency is low then modulated signal is low so this is the frequency modulation we can also show that if the frequency modulation wave is decreasing the amplitude modulation is decrease then we can show what is the phase modulation in the phase modulation we can discuss this is the importance the amplitude and the frequency of the carrier signal remaining constant so we can show this is the frequency and carrier signal is constant that time phase modulation is you can show that. so we can show this is the positive this is the negative so at that time if the modulation is increasing you can show the positive wave for the amplitude and the modulation wave is decreasing you can show the phase value is decreasing so we can show that this is the amplitude is positive the so phase you can change one direction this is the upper direction and the phase value is decreasing you can show the in the opposite direction it means down so this is the positive you can negative positive positive negative so this is the phase modulation so next we are discuss about the analog data and analog signal for the next lecture so what is the analog data and analog sig digital signal this process can be terms of digitalization which is done for the pulse code modulus we can show the pcm it is nothing but the digital modulus sampling and quantization 
are important factor for the delta modulation. We can show that pulse modulation and delta modulation. So this is the analog and digital data. Now we can discuss analog data and analog signal today lecture. So next lecture we can discuss analog data and digital signal. So thank you all of you.